Hey guys, it's Anthony, Super E Service. This is uh, Don's truck. I'm gonna go ahead and call him out. They obviously, they sent an email talking smack, uh, saying, you know, it was his fault, he worked on it, he did this, blah, 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 basically passing the buck. This freaking shop ain't doing squat for him. They're leaving him out to dry. They're hanging his ass. They, uh, this truck, you look right here, 5,000 miles ago, look, now you can tell on the rockers, it's still got assembly lube on it from the studs. After a certain amount of time and miles of the truck running, that assembly lube completely dissipates, okay? There's still quite a bit on it. There's pretty good chunks on it. Now, I, I just figured I'd make this video while I'm, I'm, I'm putting all the valve train back in, putting it all back together, and I was wiping it off my hands. I was like, you know what? It, 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 just, it just bugs the hell out of me when we get jobs like this that they, uh, they don't stand up. They don't make it right. Now us, yeah, I mean, we've got it. It's, it's done, look at this. Tell me that ain't beautiful. Uh, but they dropped the bolt in. They dropped the bolt, number five intake port. Now they're like, well, we weren't there to, uh, when the truck was taken apart to inspect it, to see actually, it, man, I live stream. I got time-lapse videos. I ain't hiding nothing. I take videos of all kinds of crap, whatever. You can say you needed to be here, but you could have been here. I don't give a damn. I mean, my doors are closed right now because I got the air conditioner on, but, uh, you know, my doors are open. Come on. But they don't want to, they, they, yeah, they're not on our level. They're not there. They're not, whatever. They just kiss ass and shut up. You know, they're not there. Messed up the valve. See it right there? I mean, just, just shitty work. Shitty workmanship, and they're going to blame it on somebody else. Um, so, you know, it's, uh, Absolute Power Stroke up north. That's the name of the shop. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, anybody that gotta watch the video, you gotta watch it to see this. I, I I might now if I get any kind of any kind of lashing out from them about this, about me naming them on the video, I will retitle the freaking video to Absolute Power Stroke screwed this customer. Okay, so. If you guys up there do see this video and you want to moan and groan and bitch and complain and moan and groan about this and that and you're using my name and you're slander and you're doing this and you're doing that, kiss my ass, you son bitch. I don't fucking care. Okay? You screwed this customer. He's almost fifteen thousand dollars in now to fix because of this freaking bolt that you dropped in there. Now you want to get mad? I ain't doing no slander. I'm showing you what it is. Okay? So, yeah. I mean, I gave him a chance. What? It's been a freaking month now. I gave him a chance. I stalled as long as I possibly could before putting this engine together, before go ahead and carrying on. I stalled it. We got, a, we got work going over there in the second bay. We got third bay going up. We got, I stalled as long as I can. Well, that's it. So to help this customer out, I figured I'd go ahead and make a video and show it. Show it. The name is Don, Don McCowan. Uh, yeah, I mean, and I will go in and I will make, I'll take this video down if they do come through and decide they want to make it right. And I mean, by making it right, honestly, the best thing they could do is refund every bit of the money that he spent at your shop minus the studs. Make him buy the studs. Even if you mark it up, mark it up to your, you know, $700 or whatever you guys sell studs for. You know, I sell them for 450. You know, mark it up, sell them the freaking studs, but the head gaskets, all the work that you guys did, the, the surfacing uh, with no valve job, all that crap, you should refund that. You should give it all back to them. And also another in response to, uh, you said you, they, uh, you said that Don, the customer, did not give you the chance to fix the truck. Bullshit. Bullshit. If this was on me, and this was one of my customers, and I dropped a freaking bolt in, and all of a sudden the truck's losing compression, and something's going wrong 5,000 miles after I looked at the pistons on this engine, and it was mine, I wouldn't have gave him the option. He would not have gotten his truck back. I would have pulled it in. I would have yanked the freaking head off, bare minimum, on my own dime. I don't need his approval to yank this head off to make sure to see what the failure is. I don't need it. All of my customers know. If something like that, if Cole over there drops a bolt in that freaking engine and all of a sudden 
hey, we got an issue coming up. I'm going to take it apart on my own freaking dime. But of course, that was a heads off job. That, that, he's just doing, but uh, I'm not going to give it the option. I'm not going to give it the option to release the truck to the customer. I'm going to take it apart on my own dime. I will not let a truck leave that's got my name on it. Uh-uh. Not going to happen. So when you say that, that Don did not give you a chance to make it right, bullshit. You had the truck for almost a month sitting at your shop, and it, it got towed straight from your shop straight to mine. So you had time. Pull the son of a gun in, yank the freaking head off. You would have found the bolt. You would have found it. Now, I mean, it's all speculation. Who knows what would have came out of that, you know? Could have said an injector or blah, blah, blah or something. I mean, there's plenty of ways that could have been hidden for the failure, you know? Plenty of, uh, plenty of ways you could have masked it and hit it. But at the end of the day, you would have known that it was one of your guys that dropped the bolt inside of it. That it was self-inflicted damage. So... And I don't know, you want to say that I stashed the bolt in there and I did this and that, man, give me a fucking break, whatever. You can say whatever you want, I don't care, it doesn't matter. But I'm just throwing it out there uh, because, you know what, I, I got my, I, I'm going to do all I can to have my customers back when it comes to having an enjoyable ownership of the truck. That's what we're all about. And you took his enjoyable ownership of this truck away because he threw seven, eight thousand dollars threw it away. He paid $8,000 for a set of studs because that's the only thing he got left out of, uh, that's the only thing that he got to keep were the studs. So that's an expensive set of studs right there. All right, that's it, I'm done rating. I had to call them out because you know what? Everybody says, let other people know because uh, so nobody else makes the same mistake this guy did. And we gave him a chance. If you look at the last videos, I gave him a, damn near a, a month. I gave him a month to make it right. And they sent an email back and was basically just beating around the bush. I mean, they need to send him, send him five grand to shut him up. Then I'll take this video down. It's going to cost you, we'll just say that. It's going to cost you openly. You can call it blackmail. You can call it whatever you want. It's going to cost you $5,000 to take this video down. Okay, there you go. I know that guy in Grand Valley is an asshole, isn't he? <laughs> All right, have a good day, guys.